My name is Mark. Welcome to my home. This is video number 10 of our moving the water from the kitchen to the basement. Um, if you haven't seen segments one through nine, you should do so before we um, before you watch this one. In any case, um, the tank is now mounted up underneath the trailer. The water the water pump and the expansion tank are also mounted up underneath the trailer and I start I need to start connecting together. <clears throat> now I don't want to get way into the weeds in plumbing, but there's some things that are important here. In general, I'm going to be working on two separate systems, a low pressure system and a high pressure system. A low pressure system are the the lines, all the lines that run from the tank are low pressure. That means the fill, right? This is low pressure, not street. If I open that, it doesn't spray. The vent to the tank, also low pressure. The pickup from the tank is also low pressure. So considering this is all low pressure that we're going to be doing today, um, Keep in mind that we don't have to seal against 100 pounds PSI. You know, basically, we, the, the pressure here is, is very, very low, maybe a couple of pounds. Um, you know, water pressure is due to depth, and we're only talking a tank that's only about four and a half inches deep. So we're not going to get much water pressure there at all. <clears throat> but without getting too deep into plumbing, you need to understand some things. Um, there are, in general, different kinds of fittings, and here's just some examples. This is a PEX fitting. It's intended to be, to be put into a pipe like that, and then a band is crimped around it. That's PEX. And there's fittings that look a, a lot like it, um, but they are barbed fittings. You can see that the lines here... Um, they're just uh, ridges. These guys are actually shaped like barbs, little ramps, as opposed to just bumps. So you can't intermix these. You can't take a barbed fitting and put into a PEX and crimp it, expect it to hold. <clears throat> Other thing is I know a lot of you are very much in love with this stuff. This is Teflon tape. And typically what you'll do is you'll take Teflon tape and you'll wrap it around the threads and then you'll screw it into the into the um, fitting and that'll hold pressure. However, none of these fittings, none of these fittings should be used with Teflon tape. I don't care. They're not supposed to. And here's why. This fitting is tapered. It's, it's actually fatter back here than here. It's actually dropping down a little bit. And the same with the opening in here, so that when this gets screwed in there, it jams the threads. And what happens is this Teflon gets squished thousands of pounds of pressure as this guy winds in there and just grinds and <coughs> compresses that Teflon. That's a mechanical thing, and that's where the, the, the sealing is actually happening around the threads because the Teflon tape is being crushed. Well, these are plastic fittings. If I take this plastic fitting and I screw it into another plastic fitting, how much pressure do you think I can put on that fitting? 
Not much at all. That's why Teflon tape is not intended for these kind of fittings because you can't turn it down like you can a steel or brass or a copper connection. You can't crush the Teflon tape like you need to. So how do these things seal? Well, let's get in and we'll take a look at one that's obvious. <clears throat> These threads on these, these guys are not tapered. Look in there. There's a rubber washer in there. And when what's supposed to happen is you feel the surface of that is really smooth, that surface. That surface, as we turn it down, it goes in and compresses against the rubber washer. Just hand tight, that's all you need. That's where the sealing's happening. The sealing is not happening on the threads, the sealing the sealing of pressure is happening on the face of that and on the washer in there. So putting Teflon tape, you can put Teflon tape on here, but it's meaningless. All the sealing occurs because of the washer. So if you look at what we've got here, these guys are all smooth surface, smooth surface. Look in there, even in that. I hope we can get some light in there. I hope you can see that, but there's a washer just like that on here. So all of these are intended just to be hand tight, just screw them in and let the washer do the work. Um, no Teflon tape at all, right? Don't, 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 I know you love this stuff, comes in different colors, different thicknesses for different purposes, but skip that, that doesn't belong. Teflon tape does not belong on a plastic fitting. All right, <clears throat> next, uh, next thing that we need to talk about is the tank itself. You remember that it's got just openings in it, right? It has threaded openings and like this, this fill valve um, screws in there. Well, there is no rubber washer in there, is there? So we're gonna have to do something about getting these threads to seal in, in the tank. When I screw that in, or when I screw the pickup in, or the vent line in, I need something that will seal that. It doesn't have to be really high pressure stuff, just something nice to seal. Well, they sell something called pipe joint compound, and this is TFE paste. Um, what TFE is? <laughs> it's Teflon. This is liquid Teflon tape. How this looks, it's just a goop, right? You can see that. And what you do is you put just a little bit on here. Don't get it inside, just a little bit on the outside, not much at all. And as it turns down in here, that will give you all the sealing that's necessary in a tank because it doesn't have to mold much pressure. That'll just keep it from dripping. Um, so we're gonna use TFE paste. Now, the important thing, this is a drinking water system. Your TFE paste must say NSF on it. That means it's safe for human consumption, it's safe on water systems, because there is pipe joint compound out there that is toxic. Don't use that stuff. Make sure that your, your paste, your pipe joint compound TFE paste says NSF on it. That means it's safe for drinking water systems. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out to the trailer and I'm gonna put this fitting on, I'm gonna coat it with TFE paste. We'll put this fitting onto the tank I'm going to put this, some TFE paste here and screw this into the pickup line of the tank. And we're going to take, let's see if I can find it here. Oh, well, yeah, here it is. This guy, I'm gonna put a little TFE paste on here and we're gonna screw him in and this will be my vent line. Now, we talked about the uh, typical PEX connector. Well, the barb connectors, if you can't connect PEX to that, what do you connect to it? Well, that's how this works. That's what the barbs are for. Now, the vent line doesn't require anything because it's no pressure at all. And how this seals is that this, this just presses in hard and the rubber stretches and then grips down on it. Um, if it were a high pressure system, you wouldn't be using this kind of pipe because it's not intended to hold pressure. So let's head out to the trailer. We'll take the TFE paste and we're gonna go ahead and screw in the fittings. That's where we should start. See you out there. Okay, here we are underneath the trailer. 
that's my fill line, that's my pickup line, that's my vent line. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put, like we talked about before, we're going to put the uh, filter on. And sometimes it's hard to get these to start right. All right, so I'm going to just check and see. There we go. We're right. We're not cross-threaded. I'm going in straight. You want to make sure you're not going in this way or this way, some funky way. Okay, now we know that that works. I'm going to take... As we talked about before, because there's no rubber washer in there, we're going to use a, a, a pipe joint compound. And just, just like caulk, less is more, right? I want, this stuff is really gooey. I want to put just a little bit on these threads, not much at all. spread that's more than enough and I'll just spread it around till they get a nice this is a general coating around there okay so that's more than enough we're gonna go ahead now and screw this in now remember this stuff needs to be just generally hand tight number one because it doesn't hold pressure you know these are not pressure systems they are uh, um, you know just it's just a tank just gravity and to make sure I get this guy right so I don't want to damage anything there we go wanna... the Teflon pipe joint compound helps lubricate the threads and remember just hand tight reefing on it here just going slow and getting those threads to engage if I were to push this in too tight like get a wrench on here or something it would split that plastic that's why we can't use Teflon tape because the pressure required for Teflon tape to seal would is higher than what will split the plastic so there we go we've got that in there nice let me get it vertical like I need it to be that looks pretty good so we got one in now comes I normally would have put this in first um, but I wouldn't have been able to spin this around um, it would hit here so that had to go in first so let's put a little um, pipe joint compound on this guy and again just just a little and don't put it in there don't get any in there it is non-toxic but uh, the less chemicals you put in your body the so better you, go. you can see that um, it is just generally coated and you see I've got it back from the beginning of the threads a little bit so I don't have any chance of winding any in there so now we're gonna put this and just again get it threaded right and start winding it in now I'm gonna need to go get some I want to get some vice grips on this I can't get enough with this in the way and this up against here I can't get enough torque on this but again I'm not gonna really reef on it so we'll be right back okay we're back got some channel locks they'll make short work of this allow me to get in here and give this a little a little twist a little bit of time you can see I'm not I'm not working that hard and I'm not gripping it hard because I don't want to damage the the plastic, but I'm just feeling for this to get snug Okay, I'm gonna call that good So he's not gonna leak. All right This is a barb fitting not a pex fitting. That's a barb fitting. This is a barb fitting so I'm gonna go and take the vent line that direction so I need to screw this in up there. Again, a little bit of pipe joint compound. Just on the threads. Should have a paper towel, but I don't, so we'll just wipe it there on the ground. Okay, now, same deal. 
Make sure you don't cross thread. Get this started right. You'll feel it when it's right. There we go. And now we'll just spin it in there. Again, same deal. Keep a keep turning until it gets and that's getting pretty snug right now. So let me turn it the direction I need it to be. And something like that. That'll clear that and we'll be able to take it. I may have to move the mount for the uh, gas line, but I'll probably just tie it right there. That'll work out good. Okay, so we've got these on. The next thing I want to do is we're going to start from the beginning. I'm going to bring and connect the pickup line all the way out here. Take this off the tripod. At the bottom. I'm going to take that. So I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to turn this direction, turn this direction, come right up here and connect with and connect right there. So let me uh, go ahead and gather up the parts I'm gonna need for that and we'll get at it. Okay, so here we are with everything you need to um, do PEX work. Um, you need PEX pipe, you need PEX fittings, you need something to cut with, a pencil, tape measure, crimper, and the little, uh, they're called crimp rings, they're copper crimp rings. Um, it is very difficult to get this uh, crimper up underneath the trailer and try to work it. So what I like to do is I cut, I get up there and I measure just generally a little bit longer than what I need and get it all to fit right and then bring it out here, crimp it and then put it back in. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, first fitting that goes on will be this one, right? And it's gonna go, I'm gonna come out I'm going to go over here, and then we're going to come and connect to this guy. Um, pretty straightforward, but I can't do that with uh, with one hand, and the tripod's in my way. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this in and get it going. Now, remember, this kind of thread in this fitting, because there's a washer in there, you don't put any Teflon tape on it, and you don't put any compound on it, because all the sealing is done by that washer in there, not the threads themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and piece this together, um, get it generally to the size we want, and then uh, um, drop it in. Here we'll be we back, uh, um, come down above the frame. I'm gonna make some clips to hold that up. But uh, there's piece together really nice now i've taken a level it's important when you do this work that since this is my drain all my pipes when my trailer's level I've, my trailer is level right now while the trailer is level you need to measure and run your lines so that they all slightly slope down to your drain so i won't have any trouble when i take this off all of this line from the pump all the way on back down will drain out here and the tank will drain when i take that off so I'm gonna go ahead, pull this off, put the uh, collars on and crimp it down and reassemble. Let's get at okay. it. Okay, so there it is, all crimped and placed. Like I say, I'm gonna put some clamps here, hold that up in place, but it's all uh, above the frame. Um, very, very nice. So now we're gonna go over here and we're going to um, connect the high pressure line. Same thing as over here. I'm just going to make some fittings, uh, make some measurements, and take it up. I have a hole already up underneath the cabinet there where the overflow vent for the tank, when the tank was in the kitchen, used to come out. And that's where this is going to go back in. It'll work out great. So I'm going to get at that. Okay, here we are under the trailer. This is the pickup line that I put in. Goes through comes up, goes through the pump, goes through the expansion tank, comes out and heads up and goes up into the trailer. I wanted to show you this, uh, this is crazy, get underneath here, but this is my 
high pressure drain line drain valve that's closed that's open so that uh, you can see that it's all uphill right so that comes to the trailer everything is sloping down all the way down and through but um, that's off that'll drain and this will be the absolute low spot in my trailer for the high pressure and that'll be the absolute low spot in the trailer for the uh, low pressure line so um, let's go on inside and I'll show you inside the trailer show you where it comes in this is where the the tank was in this part of the kitchen cabinet and that's my uh, line coming in I'm gonna tie it right into the uh, blue line right there um, the high pressure by the sink so that's it guys um, this video is getting plenty long <sighs> what a job um, I've got one more connection to make and then the uh, lines are connected <coughs> i'll have to get the vent line run and get the fill line run and that'll be in the next video so stay tuned thanks for watching uh uh 10 stay tuned for 5 10 11 <laughs> where we connect up uh additional lines to the tank take care drive safe bye-bye